Recently, this question came up on one of the forums uh, for Flowgrim, or the forum for Flowgrim. Um, I've left it a little while, four or five days, um, before I put together a solution because I didn't want to just give the guy an, a direct answer. But uh, this is what I've come up with. So this is lottery program. You can enter size of the array, enter telephone numbers. You must give three options. Choose three winners. Choose a winner, a uh, single winner, and um, exit the program. Now I'm making an assumption here that these numbers don't have to be discrete winners, that they can be any three winners, so the same person could win first and second prize. Um, you can take it further than that if you wish. So this is what I've come up with. I've broke it into a group of four, of, um, a popular one doesn't exist, so let's just not use that. Uh, get rid of that one. So, it's a group of three functions, so the main function, we've got our counter, array size, we input the size of the array, we add phone numbers up in up until that point, and then call the main screen. The main screen um, displays the menu, picks the choice, if it's choice one, we call a win function with the value three, so we want three winners and send it the array. If it's choice two, we call it with one, send it the array. And if it's choice three, uh, we quit and we just break the loop. I've also added this um, here, invalid choice if it's anything else. And then the program ends. So let's have a look at the win function. Here's the win function. So I'm bringing in the array and the number of winners wanted. So we do uh, a count up to the number of winners, so one to three or one to one, starting at one notice. Declare a winner, random number from the size of the array, output that person in the array. So let's see if it works, well, it does, but let's show it working. So pop this up. Oops. started. So here's our first few steps. So we're going to size array. I shall just do this as five items. And we have our first phone number. So five 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 one two three four five 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 two six seven one five 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 one two one two and five 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 Two two zero and five 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 one 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 one. So that should be our five values. We just put them in here. This one going in, so we can see our array. So it's called the winner function. It's asking for a choice. We'll take three winners. So if I choose uh, number one, then our chances are it's going to do more than one of the same because we've got only got five in the array. So it pops out our three winners. So this one's won twice because as I say, it's a limited number in the array. So we do a choose a single winner. So two, there's our single winner and it should be a different winner each time. Again, there's only five, so it's difficult to say. And then um, three should be our quit and it stops. Okay, so there we have it. Um, Fairly simple uh, lottery program, stores numbers in an array. That array is not of a fixed size beforehand, so we declare the size of the array at the beginning. It chooses one or three winners and quits. Let's have a quick look at the code again. So there's the main. There's the main screen. I'll just scroll down for you. There's not a lot to it. There's a list of choices. Same function but with a different parameter. And finally, our win screen taking in the number from the parameter in the array and outputting the answer. So, hope you found that useful. If you did, like and subscribe or buy me a coffee.